So you've seen part one in the Super Cheap Auto Fundamental series and decided to install a second battery in your car, van or four wheel drive. Great, but should you choose a relay or a DC charger to manage the setup? This video will help you make the right choice. The simple no frills option is a voltage sensing relay. When wiring your main and auxiliary batteries together, this relay is positioned in line to make and break the circuit. They usually have only three wires required, power in, power out, and an earth for the VSR internal functions. When your vehicle is started, the VSR allows the main battery to charge. Once full voltage is reached, the relay connects the auxiliary battery for charging. Any time the main battery requires charging, the relay will break the circuit. This ensures the cranking battery is always charged and you won't be left by the side of the road with a flat battery. However, a voltage sensing relay may only be used in an under bonnet battery installation. More than a few metres from the main battery and the voltage drop will ensure your auxiliary battery won't receive enough charge. Further to that, many vehicles beyond 2010 began adopting technology such as temperature compensating and smart alternators. These vary the power output to reduce emissions and improve fuel economy. The resulting charge can be less than 13 volts, not even enough to activate a voltage sensing relay. A little research on your vehicle will quickly turn up an answer on which alternator type you have. A DC charger offers the perfect solution for these alternator issues. These units cost significantly more than a voltage sensing relay, but can be used in any installation to provide the best charge possible. It operates just like a 240 volt multi-stage charger, boost charging your auxiliary battery, then turning down to a trickle to ensure a perfect 100% charge. A DC charger may be wired to begin charging once the alternator voltage rises. Or, in the case of smart alternators, use an ignition power feed to trigger the charge, enabling the unit to boost 12 volts or even less for a full battery charge. The downsides to a DC charger are minimal. They require more ventilation and can typically charge only between 20 and 40 amps. Your next step is installation. So don't miss the rest of the Super Cheap Auto Battery Fundamental series and check out our range of chargers and voltage sensing relays in store or online.